This is the application for the Reolink Home Hub. You'll notice, unlike the cameras, it does not show itself quite well in the list of cameras that you have, nor does it show up in IoT or Cloud. It just has a tab here. So make sure you name this correctly so you'll know how to find it later. To access the Home Hub, simply select the name, and this will bring you into your Home Hub. Starting at the top, you have a plus sign. This is how you can scan a device to add it or add a device by manually inputting the information. I'm gonna jump all the way down to the bottom momentarily just to show you these are the three cameras that I currently have attached to the Home Hub. These are the two that came as part of the system and then this one is one that I have at my house already and decided to add it just to see how that would work. If I want to edit the cameras, I simply select edit and then I can drag and drop them into whatever configuration I would like. I can also delete them if I wanted to. If I select any one of these, it will bring me into the settings for that particular camera rather than the live feed. So keep in mind, Home Hub, you're not gonna be accessing your camera's live feeds. Coming down from add a device, we have scene modes. Selecting this will allow you to set up a mode for home, away, and disarm, and it will walk you through the process of scheduling and what will happen. I don't particularly need that, but that's where you can access it. Next, we have event history. Coming in here is going to show you all of the events that you have on all of your cameras. Now, right now, it's really just pulling up the one camera because that's all that I was walking in front of, trying to find one that uh, has an animal that's not this camera. Now, here we go, PT Ultra. However, if we select the filter option right here, we can select a start date, an end date, the device. So let's say I just want these two, confirm, and then event type, what am I looking for? Ring, well, I don't have the doorbell up at the moment, so I can take that off, but person, vehicle, animal, package, confirm, and done. Now what this is gonna do is only look for the two cameras that came with this, and then here we go. It's gonna show me animals and or people that happen to be walking through frame. So that's all through the filters. Now, if you are done with your filter, you can always hit the reset and then done, and that will clear whatever filters you have in place. Coming up here, we're gonna select this. This is our weekly insight. So this will let you see, and here it's showing me from the third to the eighth, but if I go back a week, we have the 23rd to the first, I had a total of 1,366 events. Most of those were motion, 71 were people, five were cars, and 213 were animals. And it'll even show you when you had your most busy days, as well as which camera is picking up the most activity. I am a data nerd, and this, I like when companies give you this level of insight as to what's happening with all of your cameras and what they're recording. Coming back, we have file encryption. That's the next thing. This will allow you to set up encrypted access to the video files on your localized device. Meaning if you don't remember your encryption key after you set it up, you won't be able to access those videos anymore because it's that extra layer of security that Reolink is giving you. So it's good and bad if you choose to use that option, do so at your own risk or with the understanding that you're taking privacy and security into your own hands. Now we will come up to our settings. Here we can see the name, how much space is left currently. I have a 256 gigabyte card in there. I'm using seven gigs and it is showing wired or ethernet connection because you can use the home hub wirelessly. We have our Wi-Fi. Selecting this will allow you to turn on and off 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, change the Wi-Fi name and change the password. And you can select the channel if you have a particular Wi-Fi channel that's not as congested in your area. I'm really happy that they give you this level of control for the home hub itself. It's remarkable. Coming down, we have sounds. So we have our notification sounds and our alarm sounds. And there's a volume slider for each so that you have the ability to configure this to your liking. Next, we have lights. You have LED status light, which is that blue light on the front. You could turn that on or off. Coming down, push notifications. Right now I have that off, but you can turn that on so that the hub can send you push notifications. Same thing with email alerts. You can set up an email so that the home hub will send you emails of notifications instead of relying on your phone's push notification system. You also have the ability to set up FTP. If you don't know what this is, don't play with it. But the fact that Real Link allows you to do this is one of the reasons that I say that they have one of the most robust consumer based applications 
for their hardware. Moving down, we have our storage. This is going to show me my SD card storage. I can format it from here, which will erase everything on that SD card. And then we have our settings, which will allow me to overwrite time lapse so I can toggle that on or off and then overwrite recording. So right now it's set for overwrite the oldest, but I can select overwrite 30 days, 14 days, all the way to one day or none. I can select don't delete anything and allow me to choose that. We can also eject our storage media, which is that micro SD card that you have in there so that you could properly and safely remove your storage. And then coming down to advanced, we have share this device. Selecting this will allow you to share this device with another user. You'll have to hit the plus sign there. They'll need to have their own account and then you would send them guest authorization for your home base. Here we have illegal lockout. So if somebody tries to access your home base with the wrong password one too many times, it will lock them out for a period of three minutes. Here we have change device password and date and time. From here, we can also reboot or restore the home base. And that is everything that we can do in the Real Link app for the Real Link Home Hub.